This video will cover moderate level questions regarding the topic of factoring trinomials by cross method and decomposition. In the first question, I will use the cross method. This trinomial can be rewritten as 4x squared squared minus 13x squared plus 9. And I will use substitution. Let x squared be large A, 4a squared minus 13a plus 9. 4a times a makes 4a squared. Minus 9 times minus 1 makes 9. When you use cross multiplication, it becomes minus 9a. This is minus 4a, combined together minus 13a, which is the middle term. So the factor is 4a minus 9, this way, and a minus 1. Then back to original, a was a squared, so 4x squared minus 9, and x squared minus 1, and they are a difference of squares. So this is a squared minus b squared form. The first one is 2x squared minus 3 squared, and second one is x squared minus 1 squared. The final factor the form is 2a plus 3 to x minus 3, and then x plus 1, and x minus 1. This is the next question. The greatest common factor is a 4. So factor out 4. So 30 divided by 4 is 8, x to the power of 4. And 40 divided by 4 is 10, x squared, y squared minus 12 divided by 4, 3y to the power of 4. Then use substitution. Let x squared be large A and y squared be large B. It becomes 4 8a squared plus 10ab minus 3b squared. And I will use decomposition. Find the two numbers that have a sum of 10 and the product of minus 24. Numbers are minus 2 and 12. So we can break into minus 2ab plus 12ab like this, so 4, 8a squared minus 2ab plus 12ab, together makes 10ab, and then minus 3b squared, and then factor out 2a, in the first two terms, so 2a and left over is 4a minus b. And then this one is 3b in the last two terms. So 4a minus b is left over. Then 4a minus b is a common factor. So take out 4a minus b, and inside is 2a plus 3b, and then go back to original. 4, a was x squared, so 4x squared minus b was y squared, and 2x squared plus 3y squared. But this is not the final answer, because 4x squared minus y squared is the difference of squares. So 4 and that one is 
2x plus y and 2x minus y vectored and then keep the last one. This is the final answer. Number 3. List all values of b such that each trinomial can be factored over the integers. 2x squared plus bx plus 5. In this question, I will be using the cross method. So, 2x times x makes 2x squared. 5 times 1 makes 5. Then cross multiply makes 5x. This one is 2x. Combined together makes 7x. So b can be 7 or 2x times x makes 2x squared and minus 5 times minus 1 makes 5. Cross multiply. So this one minus 5x and make minus 2x together makes minus 7x. So b can be minus 7 or change the first term. x times 2x makes 2x squared. Then 5 times 1 makes 5. Then cross multiply makes 10x. This one is x. Combined together makes 11x. So b can be 11 or 2x times 2x makes 2x squared and minus 5 times minus 1 so minus 10x minus x together makes minus 11x so b can be minus 11 by this one B can be 7 minus 7, 11, and minus 11. This is the last question. List all values of B such that each trinomial can be factored over the integers. 5x squared plus bx minus 6. This time, I will be using decomposition. Find the two numbers that have a sum of b and a product of minus 30. 5 times minus 6, right? But we don't know the value of b. Integers then multiply to minus 30 are 1 times minus 30 minus 1 times 30. 2 times minus 15 minus 2 times 15, 3 times minus 10, minus 3 times 10, 5 times minus 6, and minus 5 times 6. So, the value of b can be at 1 and minus 30 together, it becomes minus 29, and minus 1 plus 30 is 29 because d is sum of two numbers. So add them together, minus 13, and these together, 13, and then minus 7, these two make 7, then minus 1, and 1. By this, b can be in plus minus 29, plus minus 13, plus minus 7, and plus minus 1. These are the answers. I hope this video has been helpful. The previous lesson is also linked in the description bar below. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.